Sometimes I feel like I have this idealized vision of what it means to be productive. And I picture like always doing everything perfectly efficient, that I'm always gonna knock off everything on my to-do list. But what I've come to find is that that rarely is the case. I almost never finish what's on my to-do list. And I'm starting to realize that maybe that's not such a bad thing after all. Hey guys, my name is Reagan Rose. I talk about personal productivity from a Christian perspective. And in this video, I wanna talk about productivity and how it relates to grace. I think one of our biggest problems when we think about personal productivity is we think of ourselves like machines. We think that we can do things perfectly efficiently and then if we just like tweak all the dials exactly right and have the right mindset that we'll always just be perfectly productive. I have this picture in my head that if I could get everything straight in my life, I would have to-do lists each day and I would always get everything on them done. But that never really comports with reality. Like some days I do, but, but I think maybe productivity is a bit like golf. Golf's a really frustrating sport because sometimes you'll have a really good day, but most of the time you're not having a good day. But that hunt for like being under par, um, getting an eagle, or just doing really well, that, that always, that memory of that time you did good keeps you going because you want to get that feeling again. And I think it's the same way with productivity. We think maybe I could be more consistent. Maybe uh, my to-do list would get done every day and I'd have that sense of satisfaction with myself that I have on those few days when I actually do feel productive. And I don't think that's a bad thing to chase. I just think that it's a bit unrealistic to think that we're going to be perfectly consistent in that thing. And I think that's no more obvious than when it comes to your daily to-do list. There's a lot of articles out there that talk about the fact that we don't finish our to-do list. And in fact, Wired Magazine just posted one recently that someone sent me and they were saying, look, most people, they, they don't finish their to-do lists and yet there's all these to-do apps out there but nobody actually uses them. Maybe we shouldn't be so worried about to-do lists. And I just totally disagree. Just because we don't always finish what's on our to-do list, it doesn't make them worthless. In fact, I think that there is a helpful, subtle reminder in an unfinished to-do list that actually can help keep us a bit more humble. I mean, the fact is, your to-do list, it's aspirational by nature. And what I mean is, it's what you hope to get done. And usually, yeah, we are unrealistic and we put more on there than we actually can get done. But just because you didn't do it all, it doesn't mean that you're a total failure or that you shouldn't have written it down to begin with. This is just a list of what you hope to get done today. But since our days rarely unfold according to plan, it's a pretty normal thing that you don't actually finish what you plan to do. And that's okay. I think there's something really healthy in being reminded each day that I fall short. I can't even do the three things that I plan to do today. That's how far I fall short of my own standards. And there's a reminder of grace in that. We've all fallen short of God's standards and they're much higher than our daily to-do list. God demands perfection from us. And the gospel of Jesus Christ offers grace to people who have fallen short. That no, we haven't lived up to God's standards but Jesus Christ lived up to them for us and that's why we put our faith in him. When that unticked box next to do the laundry sits unticked and it mocks you, you have a choice. You can either despair and beat yourself up and say, oh, I can't even get even the smallest things done. Or you can let it be a reminder of God's grace. My unfinished to-do list reminds me that I can't do it all but there is someone who has done it all for me, and that's Jesus Christ. And God doesn't love you based on how perfectly productive you were today. He loves you based on how perfect his son and his sacrifice were for you. So I can stand confidently before men and God, despite my daily failure, even to live up to my own standards, because Christ has perfectly lived up to God's standards on my behalf. So keep making your to-do lists, keep trying to get better at finishing them, but when you do fall short, let it be a reminder that you're under grace. Well guys, I hope that was encouraging to you. Thanks for watching. If you want more on productivity from a Christian perspective, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this, give it a like. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one.